Hello brothers and sisters and welcome to Dinkum. Today I'm going to show you how to get a multiplayer game going. I've had some questions on this. So the first one is real easy. If you're just trying to host your own world that you've already started and have already played through and just have your friends come join you and help you out or dink around. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, all you're going to do is hit multiplayer, select your world like uh, Shibland here where we have our YouTube series. And I can hit friends only, invite only. I can make it public. I can make it LAN. Etc. And I can also find open games by searching for friends games or public games if I'm looking to join someone else or if you're going to join directly with a local host IP. So those are the main ways to just start it. Now, the big question is, I want to start a new world with a friend and have just our own world together. How do we do that, Shabby? Well, first thing, you're going to start your new game. You're going to get your character made. Just like show the classic Shabby do. We're going to name our character. He's going to be... Uh, Always going back and forth between keyboard. He is going to be a shabby do. In the name of the island, why don't we go with Dinkleberg? If you know what that's from, make sure you put a comment down below. So, this is how you're going to start your first world, no matter how you play. So we can just skip through this stuff because we've already seen it. Now, in order to invite your friend to your new world, you have to do a couple things. You have to progress through the main story just until you get the sleeping bag. And then Fitch tells you to go to sleep for the next day. So why don't we get to that point? So that means you're gonna have to talk to Fitch, find your base camp. So if you're trying to figure out a place together, either stream it on Discord or something so you can figure out where you guys wanna go or just make the judgment call like I'm gonna do here. So here's our map. I'm gonna go somewhere in the middle around here perhaps because then I'll be close to like the tropics here the desert as well as the bushlands these are all great areas to be near and then obviously the pine forest won't be too far away so we're gonna go right to the middle here ish and set up our base after you place down your base camp your tent and then your visitor center right there make sure you talk to fletch twice afterwards and then they'll give you some stones grab two wood build a campfire bam progression right we'll just dump this right here for now this will be a decent spot it goes down. It can be picked up at any time. You talk to your boy Fletch. Thanks. So here's the part we want. So they gave us the sleeping bag and a bug net. So what I do suggest is, unless you're trying to rush into the game, of course, uh, run around with your bug net and just catch a bunch of bugs. Fill your inventory up. This will not only get your harvesting up, but it'll give you a little uh, chunk of change for when John shows up tomorrow, because he always shows up on the first day, so you can sell your stuff to him. So, but otherwise, we'll come into the tent, we'll plop our sleeping bag down, and I do want to show you, uh, Shabby, I got my multiplayer game going, but why can't I sleep? Right here in the corner, you can buy sleeping bags from Fletch. Uh, she won't let me do it at the moment, but I think she will. Hold on. Yeah, you have to progress to the next day before she'll give you the dialogue, but you just go over to those sleeping bags and buy them. They're super cheap, so don't even worry about it. And then your friend can plop one down. You can either let them sleep in your tent or let them sleep outside like the diggos. So we lay down, call it a day. So now that we've awoken, we can just go right into the menu here and go over. Sorry, we can go to the menu, close the game out, quit to main menu. Yep, quit. Because remember, the day saves when you sleep. It doesn't save at any other time. So now you would go to the main menu, you would go to a multiplayer, and now you can see that our new world, Dinkleberg, is available. So we can go into Dinkleberg. I can set it to friends only, invite only, host the game. Come into the world as fresh from the womb. And then you just go over to the invite button and you, you can't see it because of my overlay, but you would just hit that invite button and your friends list will pop up on Steam and you can hit the invite button. So, all right, brothers and sisters, I hope you found this useful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe as well. We're going to be live tonight playing on Dinkleberg, me and a buddy of mine starting our own little co-op world. So if you want to see how to have a fantastic start, don't forget to drop by tonight around 6.30 Eastern, and that is July 22nd. All right, brothers and sisters, as usual, this has been Shabby Doo, and hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.